On this Sunday forecast, Nicole, as people are headed out for church this morning. That's right, and it's nice ac across North Georgia and across the state. We have lots of sunshine out there. It's a beautiful start to the day. Things may start to change, especially closer down into Central and South Georgia in the next 24 hours, though, all because of the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Debbie. This is the view right now, the rainfall associated with it. Some of those outer rain bands already impacting portions of Florida, and this will continue moving up towards the north before its eventual land fall into early tomorrow morning. It's currently producing sustained winds of about 60 miles per hour moving north northwest at 13 miles per hour. But as I said, it's expected to make a further northward and even eastward shift as it gets closer to the coast. Landfall is likely as a category one hurricane. The official forecast from the National Hurricane Center does have 85 mile per hour sustained winds forecast for this, which puts it on the stronger side of a category one hurricane before it approaches the big bend of Florida. This will veer further eastward, kind of cutting across the state and into likely South Georgia and eventually potentially reemerging into the Atlantic. The forecast for the next couple of days associated with this has pretty high confidence, but as we get closer to the end of the week, that's when our confidence with the track of Tropical Storm Debbie starts to get a little bit lower. You'll notice that the forecast cone for it pretty large as we get into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Friday. Now, it looks like we'll stay on the western side of Tropical Storm Debbie, which is historically the drier side. That does mean that impacts here will likely be minimal, but we could still see some of that tropical moisture tomorrow and into Tuesday and maybe even through the end of the week. I mentioned that low confidence when it comes to the long term forecast, and you can see why. These are our spaghetti models that show potential tracks of the center of circulation and there's a pretty wide variability as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, which is not common with these tropical systems. Right now that forecast track for it does have it moving across the state of Florida and into the Atlantic. A big steering factor here is actually going to be the stationary front that's currently stalled across the state. This is the same system that led to those isolated showers and storms yesterday and will elevate our rain chances later this afternoon as well. This will eventually steer Tropical Storm Debbie off towards the northeast, making it uh, still pretty far away from us in the Atlanta metro. So here's as it approaches the state of Florida shortly before landfall, a lot of heavy rainfall associated with it. It cuts up into South Georgia and then essentially ejects off towards the east, potentially back into the Atlantic. This is going to essentially ride the coast up towards the northeast, bringing heavy rainfall and gusty winds along the Georgia coast as well as the Carolina coast. So if you have plans over the next week to get down to the coast, you will definitely need to monitor that closely. I mentioned the chance for some isolated showers and storms here. We could see some of that tropical moisture leading to maybe a half inch to an inch of rain accumulation, but the heaviest of the rainfall is definitely going to be across Florida, South Georgia, and then up into the Carolinas, where some spots could see 10 to 15 inches of rainfall accumulation. The further south and east you go across the state, the more rain, the better likely of seeing some of that tropical moisture. So down towards the south of the Atlanta metro and off towards the southeast, that's where we could see a little bit more rain associated with Tropical Storm Debbie. For right now, I'm keeping our rain chances really conservative. There is a very high chance that this tropical system shifts a little bit in the coming days, which could have big impacts on our rain chances here. For their westward shift, higher rain chances, and eastward shift, lower rain chances. So right now, only a 20 to 30 percent chance which means a lot of us will stay dry. Starting off the morning, sunshine across the Atlanta metro, but some spots seeing a little bit more cloud cover. Mix of sun and clouds today. We'll enjoy some sunshine as a few isolated showers and storms develop. Rain chances this afternoon, about 30%, mainly between 2 o'clock and 5 or 6 o'clock. Once the sun sets, we'll lose that rainfall pretty quickly. A couple of those storms that do develop could produce some heavy rain, some lightning, even some gusty winds, but overall severe weather threat pretty minimal. Our high temperatures will get up into the low 90s. 90s this afternoon. It's going to be another hot one, but not too bad across the state and high temperatures will start to climb into Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the mid 90s expected. Our forecast is going to be a fluid one over the course of the next seven days. We could see potentially some of that rainfall associated with Tropical Storm Debbie, so you'll need to stay updated when it comes to that potential uh, for rainfall as we move through the rest of this week. Right now, though, looks like our impacts here will be pretty minimal when it comes to that tropical moisture.